Trini's flimming and flamming and trying to be all social and uppity when basically they're just a bunch of high class drunks. I mean, no, no, I wonder <laughs> Trinidad and Tobago is eminently qualified uh, for a production like that. Because when S Sean Hodgkinson decided to try his hand at a major film production for the first time, he did something other filmmakers may shy away from using actors and actresses with little or no on screen experience. I mean, you don't need any experience to do anything in Trinidad and Tobago. Just look at the cabinet of <laughs> TNT. The decision helped them strike gold, not the cabinet, uh, talking about Sean and them, uh, as the 30 minute dramatic comedy has received positive reviews from audiences and feature writers alike. In fact, because of the social network thing, apparently all tickets were sold out for the film festival last year, uh, long before. Uh, a Trini take on an experience uh, many a woman can relate to. It's a story about Wendy and it's coming to TV6 this Sunday <coughs> at 8.30 p.m. So take note of that. I was asking the question rather stupidly a little while ago if it's going to interrupt the cricket, not realizing that the mm. cricket final is on Saturday night. A story about Wendy is on Sunday night at 8.30. Well, here to talk about the film, director Sean Hodgkinson looking, you know, uh, how, how to say it, fashionably rumple up, as, 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 <laughs> if, as they, they tend to do, and actress Marcia Henville, who looks like Marcia Henville. That's well, right. well, well, <laughs> Good morning to you both. Good morning, to have you morning, on, on the program. So, uh, bef before I get Marcia into any trouble about Saudi sport of Spain and so on, we want to stay... And that front page in the Express. Yeah, and, well, that, I mean, that is the laugh of the decade. <laughs> we're going to say, but Sean, you, could, you need to do a, a show, a, a, a film about it. I thought it was a coup. That, that, that's yeah, the title yeah, of a yeah, film, yeah. right? Yeah. I thought yeah. it was a coup, yeah. right? <laughs> but, um, I mean, since the film festival, since the time when, we, when I interviewed you and, 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 and Heidi about uh, the, making the film and the phenomenal success at the film festival, um, and when, with, with the, the benefit of time, uh, uh, what is your own reaction? What is your own feeling about the, the, the production? I, I guess we're sort of shell-shocked by the response. Um, I mean, since we were last here, we've done a, a sequel mm. that we're now in post-production. And I didn't think when we did the first film, we even thought possible that there would be a sequel. And corporate TNT was, their arms were open because we sort of proved ourselves. People liked it. They wanted to see more. And as a team, we were able to come back and hopefully deliver that. But has it made any meaningful difference? Because we are essentially a culture of Johnny come lately. You know, people don't support something, don't invest in something unless they, they guarantee that it's going to be successful. And then everybody wants to come on board. Has it, do you get a sense that it has made a difference for young uh, directors and those in the movie industry, in the film industry in Trinidad and Tobago? Has it made it any easier to, to approach corporate TNT or any other entity to, to be willing to buy in and support local production? I, I can't speak for anybody else. I can speak for our team and that for our res response to our film was positive. People said yes. Not, I mean, not everybody said yes. Yes. Doors still closed in our faces, but more companies came on. Like, for example, Audi, for example. They were so amazed by it. He was more excited than us to come on board for Wendy Part 2. And that's awesome. I can give you a joke about Audi. Do you know the Audi with the four? <laughs> no jokes, no, no jokes. Oh, the true damage. No, it's not, it's, no. Not, it's not making fun. Uh, you know Audi, the symbol is the four zeros interlocked. Four There's a cricketer from South Africa named Albi Morkel who's playing in this, this KPL cricket thing. He scored four zeros in a row the other day. So they changed his name from Albi Morkel to Audi Morkel. <laughs> <laughs> the poor man. Yeah, exactly. But, but Marcia, tell yes. us about your own role. Uh, which we're going to see on, on, on Sunday night, 8.30 again, right here on TV6, your own role in a story about Wendy. I am Meredith James, the, 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 the beleaguered, the, um, the dowdy, the depressed and depressing mm. HR manager. So you've been yourself then? 
Oh, Fazir, I didn't deserve that, Fazir. <laughs> People of Trinidad, I didn't deserve that. It's, it's no, a it's total transformation. Completely opposite from the kind that, well, this is the completely you opposite from what I am. So opposite is it that one of, I think, is the cameraman, or one of the crew, <laughs> when I put on my makeup and the, you know, the hair and mm. the dowdy outfit, he yeah. didn't know it was me until I spoke and he went, oh my God. I look bad. Did you did you enjoy it? I mean, for for some people, you know, a thirty minute film that that that, that people who are accustomed to the big productions are or one and a half, that two hours, come. Lord of the Rings, that three hours, come. or mm -hmm. an Indian movie, Indian movie, <laughs> seventeen hours, and you're still watching the first part <laughs> and trying to understand the English <laughs> subtitles. But uh, did you feel uh, th uh, that the production encapsulated all that you wanted from it? And more. Mm. It was an absolutely tremendous experience. Mm. I've always wanted to do a film, always. And it was just how I got to do it was amazing because, is it Jenny Kalu? Jenny, yeah. I met Jenny one day outside an eatery and she said, oh, I'm in a film, you know, mm. and, but you should audition. I was like, hmm, all right. And I went and auditioned and that was it. I, I know you're just lying with the fashionably elite and things. Well, I, 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 have, I have so, friends so in other parts of Trinidad. So all of the Saudi sport of Spain kind of thing is a little bluff. Oh, I have friends in <laughs> other maybe, parts. Maybe we need to get a story about Marcia <laughs> oh to get us God. really going. But uh, Sean Hodkinson, uh, you said you, the the sequel mm -hmm. is in is in post production. Yes, uh, which. Translate that into ordinary English for us <laughs> neophytes exactly. as to when is it good? Can we anticipate the release? We're looking at November. 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 Um, and has since the release of the original story about Wendy, has yeah. it all been about focusing on the sequel? Um, it, it, you know, it's really weird when people would call me a filmmaker before, and now that's all I do. Mm. I eat, breathe film mm. and it sort of consumes you with the fact we actually want to try and do something else because like it's Wendy 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 yeah. anytime I get stopped in the street hey how's Wendy going which is cool yeah. which is really really cool but I don't want to get sort of stereotyped into doing uh, one well, sort uh, of project that, that was going to be my next word stereotype that people will say oh he's the fellow who did a story about Wendy and that, that you might be hearing for the next 30 years yeah <laughs> I, I, I don't want that I would like to be able to be versatile and do as many different projects as possible but is there the opportunity in Trinidad and Tobago, even with the success that you've enjoyed, even with the fact that a few more doors are opening in, rather than just being slammed in your face dismissively, uh, is there the opportunity in Trinidad and Tobago to broaden your horizons? I, I hope so. I, I will try. I will try my best to make it happen. And that, that thing that's what I'm good at, making things happen. So hopefully with my resume behind me and the work that we've done, um, doors will be open for us. Uh, and Marcia, uh, following the, on, on this experience um, and, and the, the, your, your role in, in this obviously very successful uh, short film, what, have, what, what, what is your own view on being a, an actress, a full-time actress or somebody who could tell, you know, do point blank every once in a while in between <laughs> my, my, my big do with Gerard Butler or whoever else or whatever might be in tongue. Uh, is, is that something you, you, you dream of as a, as a, as a person? I, ab I absolutely did and I really would love to see the expansion of the local film industry. I think one of the positives, mm. uh, what, what I thought, was the, the diversity of races and ages in this film. It was mm. amazing because we're all different, uh, we have all different ethnic backgrounds yes. and it was just a wonderful experience as well from that point of view. I don't think we see enough of that diversity in film and television in this country. So it was a good experience from that point of view and I really hope that it opens the doors for other filmmakers and other actresses, budding actresses. I don't have any acting experience per mm. se, but well, other people do. Mm. Now I do. Mm. I've got Wendy under my belt. You know, <laughs> I'm going to Hollywood now. Yeah, well, <laughs> right? some, some people say that everybody in Toronto Tobago is an actor just waiting to bust loose, you know, from the fellas selling <laughs> the break doubles. away. Yeah, or well, the one with casting a fishing net in, in, in Castaro, something that, that, that we uh, innately have it, have it in us in some respect. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, I understand that be because of the success of a story about Wendy, you've been doing a lot of traveling. Uh, to, to either promote it or to, to, for it to be viewed in other parts of the we, world? We Without me. Uh -huh. Sa Sadly, I wanted to come though. We got accepted the, to the Zanzibar International Film Festival. Um, it, Zanzibar I, I, is off You know, whenever Tanzania. I hear the word Zanzibar, I get insanely jealous. Eh? Always. I, have, I have always wanted to go to Zanzibar. Fantastic. Zanzibar. Amazing, amazing, amazing place. Yeah. And, you know, it's a ride. You just go along for the ride. And it was so warmly received. And we actually got a second screening there too. And it just goes to show that, you know, the work that we do here in Trinidad can be seen and appreciated by a global audience. But why, Sean? Why still? I mean, if the films sell out, 
it's it's, it's clearly there's value in it. And we, where people who go to TNT Film Festival are stunned, like newcomers like myself, by the quality of work That's that is done. Yet still, it seems even if corporate Trinidad and Tobago might be opening a few doors, even the media in Trinidad and Tobago yeah. seems to be very very reluctant. To going the way of a, a local series, a real series, not just a laugh, player demand, laugh at demand kind of thing. Sure. Uh, that seems to be seems to be the case still. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Wendy was initially envisioned as a series, to be honest, but to, to the work that goes into like one part, I can't fathom like our small team mm. creating a series. Because you look at, I want to give the example of Hollywood. Yeah, there are like 15, 20 writers in a room right. writing scripts. It has just me. But if, if to say, for example, or out of the blue, that you know there was to be the resource were to be the resources, financial and personnel, do we have the, the creative abilities of to, course. To, to, to produce? Of course. No, that hands down. We we are such a creative people and you know we're resourceful and we find ways of doing anything. Speaking of that, Nicholas Atten has a film out now, mm. um, in Trincity, Escape from Babylon. Go check it out. Mm. He that's an example of that. Someone just believing in it, getting it done. And and and, and Marcia, we just have a few, a few seconds left. Um, having been involved, in, does this give you a, a, a taste of, of what what is actually possible? Do you feel uplifted by having per, being part of a story about Wendy, or do you feel a little n not depressed that you know th this is what is possible, but we just don't seem to want to recognize it? No, no, no. I'm very uplifted because you see, Sean is very motivated and is a can-do kind of guy and mm. does everything when it's you know in terms of on the film set. And because of this experience, we've discussed doing so much more. There are so many possibilities that are out there. So I am uplifted and I'm very, very excited. Personally, I am. And for the industry as well, I really look forward to some of the stuff that he's going to do and we're going to do together. Mm, that should be, yeah, that should sure be quite interesting. Together, right? <laughs> <laughs> you're, 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 you're tricking already. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, walk. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Sean Hodkinson <laughs> and uh, Amasi Andrew, good to have you. And don't forget, it's going to be on TV6 come Sunday at 8.30 and uh, you'll get a chance uh, to see it. I, as I said, I haven't seen it myself because it, um, uh, it was so, so phenomenally successful at the film uh, festival last year, and uh, most of us will get a chance. And maybe whether you like the genre or whatever, it is, just understand that this is a local production, and it just shows what we are capable of, and maybe slowly but surely, people will come around to the realization that we should be telling our own stories rather than other people either telling their stories or other people telling our stories to us and we get in vexed because they miss the whole point and misinterpreted uh, the, the, the essence of what happens here in Trinidad and Tobago. We'll be back with a pretty entertaining session right after this.